Hi, my video today is about dreams. Um, I'm not talking about the dreams that you want to achieve, but the dreams that we have during our sleep. Just to make it interesting, I'm going to tell you dreams of a few famous personalities that changed their life. Ramanujan was a self-taught mathematician. He worked as a clerk in a post office. Self-taught mathematician. Is that even possible? Ramanujan's answer to this question is, he repeatedly dreamed of a Hindu goddess Mahalakshmi from Namakkal. She presented him with various complex mathematical formulas over and over, which he could then test and verify once he wakes up. This is unbelievable, right? He proved more than 3000 mathematical theorems in his lifetime. One such example is the infinite series of pi. So what did Lincoln see in his dream? In his dream, he sees himself walking into the East Room of the White House. He finds a corpse that is covered, guarded by soldiers and a group of people uh, that are grieving and mourning. Lincoln got curious. He walks to a soldier and asks him, who is dead? And the soldier replied, the president. He was killed by an assassin. So that was Lincoln's dream. But days after this vivid dream, Lincoln was actually shot dead by an assassin. Strange. This is about Elias Howe. He is the first man to introduce a practical sewing machine or the lock stitch sewing machine in 1845. Howe's motive was to create a sewing machine that produced lock stitches. That is when the upper thread and the lower thread interlocks or twists together when they pass through the hole that is created by the needle. Now Howe's original idea was to follow the model of the ordinary needle and to have the eye or the hole of the needle at the heel or at the top. And no matter how hard he tried, this never worked. He just couldn't get the sewing machine working. And it did not occur to him that he might have to give a little more thought on where the eye of the needle should be. One day, Howe fell asleep on his desk, working so hard hours together to get this sewing machine running. He dreamed being chased and attacked by cannibals and they had spears in their hand. And all these spears had a hole at the tip. That is when it occurred to Howe that his needle should have a hole at the tip and not the top. And this led to the invention of the sewing machine. These are just dreams. But when you associate them with their waking life, it is quite bizarre, right? It's, it's strange, but it is what it is. Now let's go back and see what people in ancient times think dreams were. The ancient Egyptians believed so strongly about the power of uh, dreams to foretell the future and offer advice and they had rituals to incubate their dreams. In the ancient times it was believed that the dream world existed between the land of living and the world on the other side which means the world that is inhabited by gods and the spirits of the dead and dreams were considered as means of communication from those entities. Some of these dreams were straightforward and easy to understand, while the others, however, made no sense. And so they had professional dream interpreters to help them understand the dreams. And because they felt that dreams were so significant, many ancient Egyptians were meticulous in recording their dreams and their interpretations. Like many other cultures, the ancient Hebrews believed that sleep thinned the veil between the world of living and the world of demons, spirits and gods. And that sometimes God himself spoke to humans through their dreams. In fact, the Greeks and Romans actually believed that dreams had a certain prophetic powers. We all dream. Adults, babies, they say even animals dream. But some claim that they don't dream at all. But that's not true. It's just that they don't remember it. There are varying natures of dream. Our dreams can range from 
normal and ordinary right through to bizarre and completely surreal. For example, people from all over the world frequently dream about being chased, being attacked or falling. Another common dream experiences include uh, feeling frozen, unable to move, flying, arriving late or even being naked in public. According to the National Sleep Foundation, the average person can dream four to six times per night and each one can typically last between five minutes to 20 minutes. However, most of our dreams, like 95% of them, are quickly forgotten the following morning. And the reason why some people remember their dream is that they would have woken up whilst they were in the REM phase of sleep or the dreaming stage. And if you want to know more about sleep and its stages, you can click on the link above. When you're awake, your brain is active and your thoughts have certain logic to them. But when you sleep, your brain is still active, but your thoughts or dreams often make little or no sense at all. This may be because the emotional centers of the brain triggers the dream rather than the logical region. The fact is, much is known about the role of sleep, but it's been harder for the researchers to explain the role of dreams. It is still sort of a mystery. Even today, we show interest interpreting our dreams. I do. Uh, like sometimes but not like uh, you know my life depends on it or something it just interests me that's all what I'm trying to say is it is not necessary to do that because all that we are going to find is only um, entertainment it's, it's it's just general interpretations and it's not likely to do any good to us instead look at it this way consider your dreams as a reflection of your waking life like uh, you know mirroring your fears anxieties hopes desires and uh, you know your aspirations for the future in all likelihood the things that we experience in our dreams is probably a, a reflection of a certain issues that we face in our daily existence L now let me conclude this video with my personal dreaming experiences um, so last year around mid-june i had this weird dream I'm in the bed and I see maggots on my bed. I, I, I try to get down from the bed, but the maggots are all over. They are on the floor, they are everywhere. Um, and then I wake up. And this to me seemed very weird and disturbing because it's, it's maggots. You know, maggots represents death because they live on the dead. I would have probably had this dream because last year was the worst year ever because of the COVID pandemic and lockdown and whatnot. You know, and I'm sure we all had the fear of losing our loved ones. And I think that sort of reflected in my dream. My other dream is quite funny, but I have this dream repeatedly. I have this inexplicable fear of seeing a lizard. Okay, I can't stand them. I can't stand them anywhere around me. Not in my room, not in my home. And this dream sort of disturbs me. It disturbs my sleep after that. But what I'm trying to say is someday I might get over this fear and I might not have these dreams anymore. So that's about dreams. Let's not, you know, hit too hard on the dreams that we had. Rather, let's uh, use this dream as a sign, uh, you know, to progress better in our waking life. Hope you enjoyed this video.